Dark Side of the Moon. The, oh man, we can go back, I don't know how many years uh, when we discuss what is going on on the moon, uh, if we have been there or not. That's a whole nother conversation. It was was E.T. there to greet Apollo uh, and and the recordings of, of that. They're there on the edge watching us, right? All of that. Um, to all of the testimony that has gone down for a couple of decades about what is going on on the moon. But we never went to the dark side. China did. Did China... Now, we call it the dark side. It is lit up just like the front side of the moon. It's just that we never see it. Um, But did China want to figure out what's going on there? I don't doubt it for a moment. I mean, remember... One of the things that Pete Peterson heard was when we had uh, Buzz Aldrin, who went down to Antarctica, uh, and he did a lot of social media about it. You know, apparently there is a major spaceport down there, a classified spaceport. Um, We've had various folks give testimony about it, everybody from Corey Good, Pete Peterson, There's some other guys Pete Peterson introduced me to who have never come forward. Uh, And this base, apparently Buzz Aldrin got to ride on what Pete would call an aircraft, and he went around the backside of the moon on it. And he was able to see for his own firsthand view that the backside of the moon is lit up like Manhattan. It's got stuff everywhere. So the Chinese are making a very bold move by doing this. And to me, it's leverage. They know what's out there. They know what they're finding. And they're holding that card for geopolitical negotiations because one of the other briefings that we're getting from a lot of different people here is that this all all the stuff that's going on now with the tribunals, the possible announcement of a space force that becomes – us seeing things that used to be classified. This is also very much going up to a major change in the international financial system and how different uh, currencies are weighted against each other and the seizure of many trillions of dollars of money that the deep state had stolen, stolen that will be repatriated into our economy to stimulate greatly the growth of our society uh, as a whole, as a, as a planet. And so I think the Chinese are going to be using this footage that they're gaining for leverage in a very compelling way. And that just suggests to me that disclosure is even closer than we thought. The uh, images that they've been distributing so far, uh, and especially the one with the rover uh, at the end of its tracks, right out there in the distance, uh, when you take a look at that, and I know you have, what do, what do you think is going on there? Are we seeing, do you think that that is the real unaltered image or that there quite possibly could be stuff there that has been removed? There's a, a lot of good analysis so far, but what do you think when you see that pick? We got to be really careful in general in this UFO community to not go for the crack high, which is looking at a picture and thinking you're seeing something in it. You know, like like crack, right? You get you get really high, but you get a really big crash. And uh, a lot of times, they will deliberately put these pictures out and and put them out as bait. And then people say, "Oh wow, look what I see!" And then they come out with their sarcastic hyenas who tear you apart. So I don't think anything's in that picture, right? Tongue planted firmly in cheek. <laughs> yeah. Just leave it at that. Hey, do you do you think that they will continue to release? I mean, that's the big question, right? Are are they going to hold back? Or are they going to uh, continue to show us stuff? Well, look, let's not forget stuff that we've heard from guys like William Tompkins, who have validated what all the other secret space program insiders I've been working with said. And I had private conversation with Tompkins. You know, I paid him for his time to interview him for my book, Ascension Mysteries, and got a lot of detail on the fact that some of the things that our earliest moon missions were seeing included buildings that are literally like one or two miles long. 
a big giant rectangular building that levitates like a mile off the surface of the of the moon. It's just hovering there. And it never there's never any danger of it coming down. So you have to understand another one of the weird things that William Tompkins told me is that because the moon is divided up into different regions, just like the same thing Corey Good's been saying, there's these different regions that are controlled by different ET groups. And so Tompkins described how you see totally divergent architecture depending on where you're looking at. It's a completely different style, completely different types of buildings, completely different types of lighting, of craft. And like there's hardly any space on the dark side of the moon that's empty. It's all being used. So if the Chinese are up there now, there is a heck of a lot more that they know than what they're showing us. No question. The timing seems a little suspect, too. No question. Look, that we we have some of the other briefings that I was getting involved this uh, gathering of top Chinese delegates in the U.S. because we've talked about the Dragon family and a very interesting fact that the foundation of China, the the Jing Dynasty, was apparently an Asian-looking group of extraterrestrial humans that came here. Their average lifespan is 200 to 300 years as opposed to ours. They came here and craft, you know, silver discs. They settled. Some of the natives called it flying dragons. That's where the dragon legend apparently came from. And they founded China. And even if you go back and look at those terracotta soldiers, right, what people don't usually realize is that those soldiers were buried inside a pyramid and in the Zhan province of China, there's over 130 of those pyramids. And the pyramid looks like it's a landing pad for something. It's a flat-topped pyramid. Right. So why is everybody building pyramids all over the earth? Well, it's a technology that works. It actually generates higher consciousness. It purifies water underneath, purifies oil. It raises your health level. It raises your consciousness level. And these people knew this. So the dragon family still exists to this day, and they control most of the world's gold. And they have been working very diligently behind the scenes to try to get this financial system reboot to happen. And because of how much wealth they have, they're also deeply involved in the uh, defense contracting and in the classified stuff that would be like the secret space program. So there was a major delegation of dragon family people that were over here at one of these area 51 type of places having this huge meeting and they've just recently left. This is a briefing. I just got recently. Say and, what? Uh, oh, hold on a minute. Let's pump the brakes. What did you just <laughs> say? <laughs> what? I said that they, they, so the, the people that run the dragon family, okay are actually owners of a lot of the stuff that's going on in underground military bases. They own that real estate and they own those factories. Um, so, And you said they, they, are, were, they were just here. You just had a briefing that they just left one of these facilities. And, and how long were they, yeah, they there? Were, they, were, they were coming in from what I can remember. And again, this is not truly specific, but I think they were, a lot of them were coming in around September. And then there was, there was a gathering of them from September onward. And they only just recently left like in the last week, I think. So that suggests that whatever negotiation needed to take place has been finalized and that they, at least on their side are ready to move forward. Now, apparently there's a lot of negotiation that still needs to be done to finalize this, this is like the ultimate legal bureaucratic uh, Gordian knot that needs to be untied to try to figure out how to redo the world's financial system where everybody's happy and all victims have been accounted for properly. And nobody's really going to be happy, but we got to change it. So uh, 